They order McDonald's. Yeah, if you're gonna have a party, you don't order McDonald's. You cook. But that's how McDonald's like stays open. That's how you are able to yeah, get no paid. Yeah, fine. I make a bull. I'm not gonna guarantee it's gonna be right. All right. And just pull up there. There are two things you should always do once you're about to make an order and go and collect it from a drive-thru or the counter is always say thank you to the restaurant employees. Second thing is you should always be nice and not rude to them if you appreciate your health because you never know. If you, you don't say thank you or if you are rude to the employee and you're like chop chop please make it fast. You never know you're gonna go home and probably die from food poison or realize why you're hamburger or your food whatever you order tastes like shit like like literally shit now over the past week there has been videos going viral all over twitter all over social media of fast food restaurants specifically mcdonald's managers just losing it i've been here for almost 17 hours i don't give a fuck get the fuck out of my drive through fuck you you little fucking bitch what'd you say motherfucker get the fuck out fucking bald headed ass you're, you're getting fired today you know what you can suck now there's no context behind this they just posted this specific clip my best guess is he probably didn't say thank you or he ordered like three meals and then once he came to the order he was like oh you know what change that three meals into nine meals please and he just lost it or it can be another possibility where he was like chop chop fast i am hungry and this guy just lost it and just started calling him names and throwing uh punches i think calling him bald was very unnecessary <laughs> but that's not the video we're here to talk about today this video came to light six hours ago of this mcdonald's manager roasting the people who are about to just making fun of the people who are about to make a very good amount of order so they told me you're not making the uber because it's too much food i ain't making no 13 sandwiches with the way tonight's been going I'm, there's only three cars here at the moment. It's one in the morning. Yeah, we've been getting slammed all night. That doesn't matter. It's your job. I, I can refuse any order. So you're going to refuse your best sale of the night? Now, this DoorDash person came to pick up an order that, that she received on her phone of this family having a party and ordering 13 meals from McDonald's. And what did the manager decide to do? He was like, well... I'm not making any more orders because I made enough orders for today. It's not like I'm getting paid to serve people. You know what? Tonight, I'm actually very tired. You can come back tomorrow. I'll, I will make the order for you tomorrow. And it's really interesting that the woman, was she pe prepared? Was she, Did she encounter this like uh, McDonald's manager before? She had the phone ready to go to record everything that's been being said. Or maybe this argument has been happening for a while and she decided to take out her phone because it's a natural thing. If, if you get into any type of argument, if you get in, into any type of encounters, it is humans in 2024, humans nature to take out the phone and start recording. Well, like... Us store dashers, it's not our fault that you don't want to make the order. Like, we have to make money, too. Like... And most people should have had a little more consideration before putting that order in. But it's McDonald's. They they have yeah, the right not, to put it in... It's not a feed of family. It's supposed to be fast food, not a feed of family because you're too lazy to cook. That is a crazy line to say that it is a not a feed a family type of shit. It is a fast food restaurant where you come, you make one order, and you dip. You don't make large orders because this is not family stuff. This is for people who only come late at night to drunk and who want to make orders and just dip. That is one-on-one -on -one marketing for McDonald's right there. Calling the families who order McDonald's lazy. It's supposed to be fast food, not a feed of family because you're too lazy to cook. Well, for all you know, they're sitting there having a big party. It's Memorial that, Day that's, weekend. That's stupidity for not supplying food. For not supplying... They ordered McDonald's. Yeah, if you're going to have a party, you don't order McDonald's. You cook. The family probably let someone who didn't know how to cook cook and they just messed it up and they were like you know what guys don't worry about it we're just gonna order some fast food and i also understand his point of view he's being very over overwhelmed with this whole type of job because any type of job that you have it can be very overwhelming especially if you're dealing with it's like a customer service type as well where you're 
dealing with your customers like face to face sometimes you might snap now like i said in my past couple of videos i haven't been a content creator living that influencer life just not having a nine to five job all my life no i've, I've worked these kind of jobs before i was a fucking literally I, w I had a balloon custom and i was high-fiving kids for 12 hours a day and it can be overwhelming as well sometimes you want to take that balloon and you want to beat the shit out of those kids with your balloon I went through it, but these were all just thoughts. You never actually act on it. But that's how McDonald's like stays open. That's how you are able to yeah, get paid. Yeah, told us, and the supervisor already wants to shut down the overnights, and I already told him to go ahead. Oh I'm my God. This. Well, I can I can wait for you to make that order. Like that's not the issue. If you want to hold up this line for 20 minutes, I don't care. But I gotta make money too. So it's either I make the food or you just sit there, huh? No, I'm not just going to sit here. Fine, I'll make the food. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to be right. All right. And just pull up there. Translation, that family is literally going to be eating shit and they will be experiencing the movie called 128 Hours. Now, 100% there has been orders larger than this and people just do it without complaining. And it's also not rocket, rocket science to put, uh, just fry up fries and put salt on it, put bread, put some lettuce, put some burger, put pickles on top of it and boom, voila, it's ready. 13 burgers will not take him more than 10 to 15 minutes to make, but I think bro was probably going through some life crisis and he probably hated his job and he just wanted to get out of it. He probably got scammed by these guru people who were like, do you want to escape a nine to five job? Sign up $500 and I will teach you how. And he got scammed by a 19-year-old who was promoting this shit. It is understandable, but at the same time, this is not how it's done. This is how people get fired. And I think he needs to be fired for this as well. Because not only he is not doing his job, he is also putting the other person, the DoorDash girl's job at risk as well because she's gonna show up and be like oh sorry the orders were not coming through because mcdonald's were not accepting it now i believe if someone is actually this miserable with their life and they hate their job they should consider changing it even though they don't have a choice you should still apply and do something that you actually love now in some cases where the pay is actually like really high and you don't love your job i think it's understandable if you want to stay and just get that cash real quick but preferably if you do something that you love and i think you should actually consider that i've had rude customers i've had people belittling me it's part of the job it's not acceptable but you just gotta suck it up and deal with it haha <laughs> thank you and once they're gone and be like fuck your grandmother fuck your just like curse at them no, well, not putting your whole job at risk now there's no update of him getting fired but i think after the sentence that he said if he wouldn't have said this sentence i think he would have saved his job but i'm 99 percent sure since this uh clip went viral he's going to get fired because he said that mcdonald's is not a feed the family place people are lazy that's why they come to mcdonald's fuck these people that is one thing mcdonald's will definitely not let slide and i hope that when he got fired he actually evaluates things in his life. He doesn't fall in a deep hole of depression. And he actually goes after what he loves. Anyways, I just saw this video. just wanted to talk about it. People definitely that night with 13 uh, sandwiches, 13 meals. They felt the burger is a little bit juicy. A little bit too juicy with a little bit of saliva extra flavor inside as well and don't forget to always say thank you once you get your food because it's not only for not having a big green uh, saliva spit inside your burger but because it's a decent thing to do when someone opens the door you say thank you when someone delivers you your food or makes your food you say thank you literally anything and that's how it shows that you were raised right and you're a decent it's be about being a decent human being anyways just wanted to talk about this there's no influencers content creators youtubers doing any dumb shit so nothing to talk about anymore if you're wondering why am i sweating like a pig because i've been sick and dying for the past three days sleeping 12 hours a day and I guess the best way to uh, heal from this flu fever that I have is apparently you need to sweat a lot and you just need to take pills. Anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.